All right, guys, I finally finished organizing this. I know that I did a video similar to this just a few months ago, um, but you'd be surprised how quickly it gets disorganized and crazy. So up on the top here, I have this paper, which is just some paper I got on Amazon. It's cardstock. And then I have this Yupo paper. These are my Kurataki Ganzai Gambi watercolors. I then have like a little calendar thing here and a little mat for cutting. Some of these drawers might not come out very well. I think it kind of stuck sometimes. Um, in this top drawer, I have post-it notes right here with all of my flash drives. I have quite a few actually. Some little like post-its there. I have a bunch of cores. These are mostly headphones, but some other random things. I have a box cutter. Oh, wow, I need to learn how to Put the camera on what I'm looking at. Um, this is a calculator, some tape, these pens, markers, whatever they are. Um, pen <laughs> I'm having trouble. Pencil sharpeners, a bunch of um, paper clips, um, lighters. I just use these for candles. Um, I have some batteries, a battery charger, a random pencil case. There's actually a makeup case that I use for pencils, a backup hard drive, a stapler, another random cord. I'm not sure what it goes to, so I'm scared to throw it away. A bunch of erasers, including this electric eraser, 
pencil lead, my phone charger, because I have so many chargers, I don't need them all. And then this little thing, which is supposed to connect to my camera, um, my phone or something, so I can take pictures, but I haven't really tried it. Um, this is honestly just a bunch of pens. So I went through every single pen and I scribbled to see if it actually worked. If it did not, I threw it away. If it did, I kept it. I have this little tin that just has stamps in it. And this is where I keep all the stamps that I use when I mail things out for my Etsy shop. This little stamp that has the date or whatever. Some staples. Um, these are CDs for my camera. Um... Bluetooth headphones, so I use AirPods now, so they'll stay in here. These are highlighters and then extra Copics. These are colors that I already have. I got two of these from a scholar box, so yeah. And this one I just accidentally bought another one of a color I had. Some push pins and a pair of scissors. Next drawer. Sorry if I'm talking kind of fast. I'm just trying to get through all this without making it a super long video. I have these paints, or I guess inks. They're on my Daily Rowney. This is a bunch of brushes. These are mostly just the cheap and expensive ones. All the ones that I use more are actually sitting in a jar right now. These are alcohol inks. This is the fabric paint I use for my cosplay. These are watercolor palettes. I use this Winsor & Newton one most, and then this is a Daler Rowney one that I got in a scrawler box. This is 99% isopropyl alcohol, as you can read on the label, and that goes with the alcohol inks. This is gum Arabic solution, because I read that you could put this with um, gouache to put it in a pan. It kind of worked. There's a video on that. This is my gouache collection. I have Reeves. I mean, wasn't a super big fan of these, but I still haven't played too much with them, so it's hard to say. And then I have my Holbein gouache, which is not cheap. These are all my acrylic paints. I have a bunch of Windsor and Newton in here. And then I have some Liquitex and then some just random Artist Loft ones. The Artist Loft ones I used for a cosplay, and it was like buy one, get one 50% off or buy one, get one free. So I got a black and a white, but I think I used all the white. So then I have these wood rounds, which I think I did a video where I painted them. Um, I used these around Christmas time and made ornaments. And then these are fine liners. I did not realize I had so many. There's a couple just like random markers in here, but for the most part, this is all liners. So I need to get to using these up. I did actually throw away several that were dried out and I still have this many. Then these down here are paint pens, or let's focus, these um, metallic pens. Then I also have these oil pastels. I actually don't think I've done a video with these, but I used to love them when I was younger. I also then have this gesso, which I use to make the ornaments with these to just give the wood a nice finish to paint on. Here I have some random paper. So I have some like little dots for when I do um, like craft fairs and stuff. There's this pad of black paper. And then there's a couple just random pieces of paper that I got from Scrawler Box and stuff. There's this sketchbook, some watercolor paper. This is B paper, a thing from Erin Condren. And then there's this pencil bag, which is literally filled with pencils. I put a bunch of random pencils I have in here. So pencils that I got from scroller boxes or that I like to sketch with or um just this mechanical pencil it is mostly pencils that I got from scroller box I just threw them all in there okay oh this is the one that gets stuck let's see if I can get it out oh let's use my foot okay there we go so this is like the random craft drawer this is um, foam for cosplay making, like when I made my portal boots. This is Liquitex, which is a pouring medium that I used for my, um, sorry, I'm distracted by the fact that this lid is like partially open, that scares me. But I did it, I used it when I did my paint pouring. And then we have this UV archive mat. 
and then this general purpose high gloss varnish and these i just use to coat some of my paintings and stuff then we have this Plasti Dip and Plasti Dip Glossifier. Again, those were used for cosplay. Hopefully, this does not leak. And then I have some random plastic cups. These were used for paint pouring. This giant Sharpie marker. Um, some chalk that I used for some displays in my shop when I do like in person stuff. It's just some washi tape and a random thing of tape. These are. Um, what are they called? They're these little things. I don't remember what they're called. Um, leather rivets or something like that. Again, for the cosplay. And then this is just like a random thing I needed for an art class once. Here is some glitter from a scrawler box. Some little chalkboard signs. Some attachments for my heat gun. Some of this like burlapy um, stuff. It has a peel off, so it's like a sticker. I've got some... I think this is like super glue, um, hot glue, tape measure thing, some elastic, and a bunch of envelopes that I use for mailing stickers out for my shop. And that is everything. I do have another little unit thing that needs to be cleaned out, so let's look at that. Well, let's just over to the side right here. I have a bunch of stuff sitting on top of it, but in here. See what we have these are a bunch of books that i have for my planner that just have a bunch of stickers more stickers and there's just like so many stickers so like i said i haven't really organized this but i don't access this as frequently so it doesn't get as disorganized so the first thing is just this thing of pencils and there's a lot so it's kind of hard to open so these are my graphite pencils if you would like to see a video where i do realism with graphite let me know that's something that I actually used to be really into, so it's something that I would like to try again at some point, but it has been a while, and the drawings take some time. So the next box is a random eraser because I think I couldn't get it to fit in there, and then some like cards and postcards and stuff. This is my random drawer, which honestly just has stuff from scrawler boxes. So this is a lot of the stuff that didn't get put over there, it's in here. So just random markers and pencils and stuff like that. At some point, I do want to go through here and weed it out. And then this is just some alcohol ink. I should probably actually move the alcohol ink that I have in the big one in here, but that's okay. And then in here is just my Sharpie marker collection. I have a lot of them. I think at one point I bought or was gifted a pack that just had a bunch of these fine ones and I don't really use Sharpies very frequently. Maybe I should do a Sharpie challenge where I draw with Sharpie markers or something. I don't know. Anyway, that is it for this video. Now that we're finally all organized, but I will see you all in the next one. Bye!